What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to talk about with you guys. Going to be discussing, are the New York Knicks interested in Isaiah Thomas? Because it looks like Isaiah Thomas is currently open to joining the New York Knicks. For those of you who didn't, you know, haven't actually heard about it, um, he actually responded to what looks to be, I think, a comment on Twitter Isaiah Thomas did that says, Tibbs likes small guards, I think, lol. Knicks would be dope. <laughs> Pretty much, you know, him saying that he really wants to go to the New York Knicks, and he thinks that the Knicks will be interested in him just because um, he thinks that Tom Thibodeau likes his smaller type of guard. So I think that is a, a very interesting way to look at it by Isaiah Thomas. I think this is just him, you know, kind of saying, Hey, hey guys, I'm still here. I want to be on an NBA team. And considering you guys are looking to bring in some veterans, I think I would be a perfect player to bring in. So, for those of you who haven't heard about it, I've talked about it in a couple of videos now. It looks like the New York Knicks are very, very interested in trading um, for Chris Paul and Danilo Gallinari and getting Gallinari uh, in a sign and trade. And also going out and signing DeMar DeRozan and Carmelo Anthony. This would give them a very, very good team. You know, they want to bring in more veterans and very good all-star caliber players like DeMar and Paul. Now that they have got Coach Tibbs on the team. But yeah, it looks like they also want to build a very, very elite bench unit. By also trying to bring in Carmelo Anthony, re-sign Reggie Bullock and Taj Gibson it does look like, and obviously as well, potentially that top five pick if, you know, they do start Mitch Robinson instead of drafting James Wiseman, so that could be maybe like an Anthony Edwards, Sonia Kalkongu, Obi Toppin, and also maybe now even a veteran point guard like Isaiah Thomas coming in with uh, the backup, so I think this would be extremely interesting by the Knicks, they've already got Frank Nilekina coming off the bench, um, but I honestly believe he's ready to have more of a shooting guard type of role. I'm going to be honest, I think that Nilekina being such a good defender, you know, especially with his height, I think it makes more sense for him to probably be a, you know, defensive type of shooting guard, and considering Coach Thibodeau obviously does like, you know, his defensive type of players, I think it would make a lot of sense for him to kind of mesh well, especially with Tibbs, and I think that he could really let Frank Nilekina, you know, kind of explode out. Look, he's never, I don't think he's ever going to really average more than 10 points a game, maybe four rebounds and maybe six assists or something like that. But he's a great defender, and I definitely think he can come off so for some very valuable 20 minutes per game off the bench, maybe at that shooting guard type of uh, position, and he is 193 centimeters, so he definitely has the capability. I just think to play that kind of role, he definitely needs to improve his shot. They've also got Alfred Payton coming off um, the bench, but he's also been starting this year. I think it'd be a little bit kind of disrespectful to not bring him back considering how good he has been. I honestly believe he would be a priority over Isaiah Thomas, and it just would make more sense to me. But honestly, they've got players like, you know, Theo Pinson, Ignas Brazedek. I don't even know how to say really his last name. Probably definitely butchered it. Damian Dotson, even, um, you know, a couple players here and there as well, Jared Harper, etc., that are just, you know, their 15th man and stuff like that, Dennis Smith Jr. as well, who's like their, again, 13th man, I definitely can't see a way where he's going to be back on the Knicks next season, so I think bringing in another point guard like Isaiah Thomas to be kind of maybe that fifth man type of role would definitely make a lot of sense to me, and I could honestly definitely see that, you know, coming in, and he's a veteran type of player, and yeah, I just think it would make a lot of sense. Like, if we think about it, the Knicks are trying to build a secret super team. Like, I mean, you Knicks fans, you guys got to get excited because there are a couple of really nice players I think you guys are going to be wanting to bring in. You obviously signed Thibodeau. It looks like you're going to have RJ Barrett, you know, next season. Mitch Robinson next season. Bullock. Um, Kevin Knox, maybe. Taj Gibson. With the additions of Chris Paul, maybe. Kamal Anthony, maybe. You know, same with... Um, uh, De DeRozan, I guess, uh, a Gallinari, and maybe even Isaiah Thomas. There's so many players they are very, very keen in, you know, trying to get. And I think, yeah, they're definitely going to be trying to build a pretty big super team. So, I mean, those are a couple of some of the best role players in the NBA and a couple of really nice stars in there. You know, Chris Paul and DeMar DeRozan have made the all-star team, I believe both of them have in the last couple of years. So, again... This makes a lot of sense to me for them to go out and do this. I just don't know if Isaiah Thomas is necessarily to play to be going and getting, but I definitely think he would be. He would make a lot more sense to have him 
as your 15th man rather than it, you know, potentially being uh, Dennis Smith Jr. as your, you know, 13th man or something like that coming off the bench. So, yeah, again, if their backup point guard and, you know, Peyton goes down with an injury or maybe starts to play bad, then, yeah, Isaiah Thomas would definitely be there for backup. And even Peyton can, I believe, you know, kind of shift over to play a little bit of that shooting guard type position as well as he is 191 centimeters and Bullock as well being one oh Oh, not Bullock, sorry, um, you know, Nilakina being 193 has definitely got the ways to potentially be playing that shooting guard position. So, again, I don't know if Isaiah Thomas necessarily makes the most amount of sense, but he thinks that Tom Thibodeau will be interested and he thinks the New York Knicks are going to be interested because it looks like Coach Gibbs does like his smaller guards. I just don't think the New York Knicks are going to be really that interested in him. So that's kind of asking, you know, answering the question of this video, I guess. Are the New York Knicks interested in Isaiah Thomas? I don't think they really will be, but I honestly don't believe he would be the worst option to kind of have as your third eighth man or something coming off the bench. But anyone, but thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Definitely don't forget to comment in the comment section down below. What are your thoughts and opinions on this all down below? Do you guys think the Knicks should be drafting? I mean, oh, we're not drafting, so signing Isaiah Thomas. Again, I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions on this all down below. But also don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel and my IRL Slack for long channel. Definitely don't forget to go check out my podcast as well if you haven't already. Links for that will all be in the description down below. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.